Hey, we're over at gotomath.com. Click on the algebra. Let's go down to uh, quadratic equations. And I think we're at 3.1 now. Yes, we are moving right along. All right, so finally, we've gotten to it. Minus 20 is equal to 0. So in the previous sections, we were basically building up to this. This is what we were actually building up to. Find the solutions to the quadratic equation. And I uh, didn't mean to click on that. Um, what are we doing? I meant to click on the whiteboard. There we go. Okay, so we have x squared plus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0. Okay. And... Uh, all right. Find the solutions to the equation. We need to solve for x in this problem. Now we're going to be using the uh, using something. We're going to be using. We're going to factor. Okay. I'm going to start off with something easy here. And so you should know how to factor this. We had a previous section on factoring polynomials and trinomials, and I don't think we talked about binomials, but binomials is just a polynomial with two terms. Um, anyway. Okay, well let's just go ahead and factor this thing. So this shouldn't be anything foreign to you. Other, we'll put an equal and a zero sign here. Okay, so we got x times x, that would be x squared. Now we need two numbers that multiply together to give us negative 20 and then when we add them we get a positive 8. Now we're going to look at this number here. For example, can we use 1 and 20? Well, 1 plus 20, there's no way we could get 8 out of that. Even though one of these numbers must be negative, right? Because we have a minus sign here. So it's definitely not that. What about 4 and 5? Uh, no, because that's going to give us, there's no way we can get an 8 out of that. So I'm going to break this up. Right, can break up into 2, 2, and 5. So what about 2 and 10? 2 and 10 looks good because, uh, okay, so we need to get a positive 8. So that means that's, this must be a plus sign and that must be a minus. Right, so we're going to go x minus 2 and x plus 10. Right, so negative 2 times 10 is negative 20. And then, of course, if you said x times 10 and then minus 2x, that would give us 8x. Okay, so there you go. It's factored. Now, what we're doing here is, is we're going to set each one of these factors equal to 0 and solve for x. Well, obviously, if you add 2 to both sides, we'll end up with x is equal to 2, right? If you plug 2 in right here, you get 2 minus 2 is 0. So, therefore, 2 is a solution uh, to this equation here. So we know 2 is one of the solutions. Put set brackets here. This is the set of solutions. And then what about this one here? We got x plus 10. Set that equal to 0. If I plug in a minus 10, right, and then plus 10, that gives us 0. So that is a solution. So there's your two solutions to the equation. And of course you can always plug these in up here. For example, 2 squared plus 8 times 2 minus 20 okay, should equal 0. And if it does, then that is a solution to the quadratic equation. So let's look at this. We have 4 plus 16, which is 20, minus 20, which is going to be 0. So this is a way to uh, make sure that, a uh, way to check, right, reassure yourself that you have uh, the right solutions, 2 and negative 10. Now I think probably I write the smaller number first, but we'll find. So when it, you go to write it in here like this, you see that the smaller number's on the left. All right, let's click on the answer there. Uh, negative 10 and 2, is that what I wrote? Yeah, negative 10. Of course, I didn't write them like that there, but negative 2 and 10. Okay, so there you go. 
All right, we're over here at uh, gotomat.com, getting it figured out. See you in the next problem, maybe.